Good morning, welcome back to another day in my life in Charleston. If you're new here, I'm Clara. If you're not new here, then you might have noticed this in the intro of the vlog. That couch that I talked about a couple of weeks ago finally came and it was supposed to come today, which is why I'm vlogging today because I thought it would be fun to film the furniture delivery, but it came yesterday. I'm not gonna complain about an early furniture delivery though. So let me show you the new couch for the primary bedroom. I wanted something in this space, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. And I found this final sale couch for like 500 bucks. And and if it doesn't fit in my next place, I'm confident in my ability to sell it for 500 bucks. So that was kind of my girl math logic. This is the brand Tov, Tov, Tov. Um, but it was final sale and it was clearance. So I unfortunately don't think you can get it anymore. I do like it more in the daylight. Yesterday I was having a little bit of a dilemma on how to style it because if you, you can kind of see now, but in yesterday's light, it was actually pretty bad. This is more of like a gray toned brown. This is more of like a reddish toned brown. The wood of the dresser is. I love both pieces. In an ideal world, I probably wouldn't have put them this close together because this dresser is looking a little bit more red than it was when this wasn't in the room. And then this is looking, well, I mean, it was last night. I don't know. This is my first time seeing it in the daytime. Anyways, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I just post little daily vlogs, usually just around my house. So things like this are big news. I'm going to Pilates this morning at like 10 15. I found a new studio that I want to try on class fast and I'm really excited about it, but I wanted to get a ton of like cleaning and like a little 30 minute tidy out of the way because I know once I get back from my workout it's gonna be like you know go 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 on the other stuff that I have to do today so I cleaned the bathroom up I put in a load of laundry and I just mopped the floors because on the topic of the delivery because I wasn't expecting them I probably would have like rolled up a rug I don't know if I would have asked them to take their shoes off but moral of the story is there were strangers tromping through my house with shoes on so I'm gonna mop the rest of the floors later today but I just did a quick clean of this area pretty much like from here back so I did back bathroom, bedroom, got some laundry going. I cleaned up Polly's space. She wasn't very happy about it, but it needs to be done. This is her little area in the, what is this called? A half bath powder room. So this is her little space. I mean her, the whole house is her space, but this is like her dedicated space. So emptied out her litter box. And I actually, the little dry vac mop situation that I have from Bissell. You can use it on low pile area rug. So I like to use it on her rug every once in a while. I just can't take her seriously sometimes. Anyways, you can use them on area rugs. So that's what I was doing. If you saw me using it on this, it was like actually cleaning, vacuuming, and it's not damp, uh, a little bit maybe, but yeah, you can use it on rugs. So that's a cool thing. I was kind of scared to do that when I first got the machine, but now I'm just like, yeah, screw it. And it works really well on rugs. Sometimes I use it on that one. carry anything crazy with me to Pilates because honestly I don't really sweat that much in like reformer Pilates because they usually have fans going and it's just like not a hot environment at least the classes that I'm used to taking are a couple of the things that I always make sure I have though are hand sanitizer lip balm little clip in case I want to put my hair back even more than a ponytail like I'll just twist it like this and then clip it because sometimes I don't know the sensoriness of like my hair sticking to my neck ugh hate it sometimes so i just need to clip with me i've got my socks these aren't the socks that i want to wear the socks that i want to wear are gray socks that i have in my car i believe but in case parking's hard to find and i don't have time to dig through my car i'm gonna bring these they're the brand lucky honey this is the brand that I pretty much all of my socks are from because i just ordered three pairs from them or three or four pairs from them when i first started pilates i don't know where the other ones are come to think of it but i have these so those are my backup socks. I just made some water, made some water, poured some water for myself in this cup. One of the cups that everyone's been drinking out of. I feel like there's so many now. I have Stanley cups. I have the Hydro, do I have the Hydro Flask one? I don't think I have the Hydro Flask one. I have the Hydro Jug one. And now this is the Brewmate one. I've only ever purchased one cup in my lifetime. Um, the rest are just like add-ins that I get in like PR packages and I usually give them to friends and stuff. But I like this one in particular. I hate to be giving a cup review in the year 2024 but this one you can like spin this disc at the top and it locks so like it's not gonna leak so i can throw it in my bag right now and carry my coffee because i'm still not done with this
Pilates class was so much fun. I'm glad I went to that studio. I like, definitely am gonna go back there. It's like one of those studios that clearly only puts their less booked time slots on class pass like the day before. So I'm just gonna have to kind of plan those classes on the fly and see if there's any available. But I had a really good time. Um, I talked to the instructor afterwards because obviously she knew it was my first time. That's something that you should know if you're doing class pass and you're going to a studio that you've never been to before. Definitely give yourself like five to 10 minutes before the class um, because they'll often have you sign the paper work that goes with their studio like the whatever they're called like the liability things so anyways i was talking to her after class and she asked what i thought and i liked the way i described it i said i was challenged but i wasn't defeated because i feel like that's how i like to feel in workout classes is i don't want it to be easy because quite frankly i'm not very athletic i'm, I'm not very muscular so if something's really easy for me then it's definitely not challenging that or i'm doing the completely wrong form and i'm not hitting the muscles that i need to be so i'm always skeptical of super easy workout classes as someone who's not very fit i'm like i of all people should be feeling something right now but i liked the descriptor that i gave her i said challenge but not defeated because there's definitely classes i've taken where i just take so many breaks where i almost feel that i wasted those credits because i'm not even getting a workout at that point because there weren't enough modifications but at this class there was a lot of modifications and i liked it i also bought a celsius on my way out because i had some by the door now since i'm on the side of town i'm gonna go to marshall's and home goods because i want to see if there's some pillows or maybe like a little end table or something to style that new couch in my bedroom so gonna pop in since i'm over here this home goods actually people say that this is the better home goods in this area but i i haven't really been able to draw my own conclusions on that so let's go in and see if they have anything for that new little area in my bedroom right off the bat these are outside they have so much outdoor furniture since i guess it's like that season obsessed with these chairs i don't really like the matching table that they put with it but i like the chairs independently obsessed with this quilt wow that is so pretty they have a lot of good quilts right now i really like this green one too and that one's kind of cute they haven't put it out yet okay scalloped pillow i feel like that's very on trend it's always crazy how fast little tiktok trends like that get to tj maxx and stores like this i found these four pillows and i think i like them i'm gonna buy them and bring them home and borrow them because i can always return them if i don't like them but i think the texture is kind of fun and they might look cool on my bed and it's really hard to find a full set of like more than two pillows here i really love these and if they had a set of four i would probably get them but there's only three i'm still tempted but i feel like i'm gonna miss the fact that there's not like a full set oh wait they're these i guess i could do like two and two that's just so fun oh wait i'm stupid there was more right here do you guys ever watch my videos and think it's like dora the explorer where you're like yelling at the screen like girl Open your eyes. Oh my gosh, they're sick. I could totally do a set of six. Ventured over to the Marshall side and I have a few things I wanna try on. Love the top. Don't love the bottoms and it's sold it as a set, so it doesn't really make sense to buy it for the top. I didn't end up getting any of the clothes that I tried on. I just got four pillows and six glasses that I'm very excited about. I am gonna run to Whole Foods really quickly and then go home and eat lunch. I wanna get some stuff for like a little Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day cocktail because I wanna post a recipe video. So I need to go grab a couple of ingredients, but thankfully that's on my way home. So let's run there really quick. I needed a garnish and they have some edible flowers, so I'm gonna go with these. And now I need some yogurt. I'm taking a receipt. Back home and time to make lunch. I'm making tuna cotto toast, which is just a tuna melt, but I kind of combine a tuna melt with an open face avocado toast. I'll show you how to make it. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it actually is really easy and it's really good. So. First, you need some sourdough. I get mine. Actually, I think I'm gonna gatekeep where I get mine because if I share and too many people get sourdough there, then they're not gonna have any left for me. But I get local sourdough, big, thick slice, perfect for avocado toast. And the first step is to get it toasting. I do everything in the broiler and I think I'm gonna make two slices. And I have this avocado oil spray from Chosen Foods that I like to just spray on the bread before I broil it. I'm gonna broil on high. And now I need a bowl to make my tuna salad. One can of tuna drained. And by drained, I just kind of like crack it a little bit and pour all the juice down the sink. This is pickle-based salsa, so it's 
the pickles, yellow onion, red bell pepper, and garlic. So kind of just like already chopped up stuff that I would put in the tuna salad because I love pickles in my chicken and my tuna salad. Though this is just a good life hack to keep in mind. If you can find Grillo's Pickle de Gallo, get it for like a base to like a tuna salad or a chicken salad. That's what it looks like. I found mine at Whole Foods. Maybe two. Two heaping spoonfuls, forkfuls. And then some mayonnaise. This is the one that I've been buying. And then salt and pepper. And I mash all this up together. And now we have a nice little tuna salad mixture and I have this perfectly ripe avocado standing by. I am gonna flip the bread because I like both sides to get a little crispy. This is like such a quick recipe because now I'm just waiting on the bread. So I'm gonna assemble my plate. I've got some blueberries and blackberries. And my favorite chips, the Boulder Canyon avocado oil, thin and crispy. I mean, you can probably guess what's coming next. Squeeze each half of the avocado down. Maybe this wasn't as ripe as I thought. I would prefer to do two open face like pieces of toast rather than a sandwich because I feel like this is more filling when it's presented as like two things versus one. Mash this onto the bread a little bit. And next up is the tuna. And then this goes back in the oven for like another couple minutes just so the tuna and the avocado gets a little warm. I add cheese at the end, but I don't want the cheese to burn and I want, like I feel like the time it takes for the cheese to melt is not long enough for the tuna to heat up. So that's why I like put it back in first. I just added the cheese in like the last minute or two, but this is the finished product. It's so good, really easy with that Grillo stuff. Again, nothing groundbreaking, but it's a super quick lunch, especially if you work from home. In other news, look at how amazing these pillows look. I think four might be a little bit overwhelming, but the off-white is pulling some off-white vibes from the rug. The problem I think is more so the floors than those two browns. There's just a lot of different warm tones going on here um but anyways that's not that's neither here nor there if you're curious because i do have to block off my bed if you're wondering what this is i block off the bed so that she can't jump up here and pee because she was going through like a little menace phase um she hasn't tried to menace this but i also think it's because she's like fine on hardwood clearly but when it comes to like jumping up on stuff she definitely needs like a little grip of a rug and since there's no rug right here i genuinely don't think that she's gonna be able to jump up there unless she jumps from right here which honestly I wouldn't put it past her. She's kind of invincible. But anyways, this is how the pillows look. I really like this shade and the texture with the couch. I'm trying to get like a better angle on the room. And I think it brings some lightness over there. Again, I think four is too much, but I'm just gonna, I keep the tags on stuff like this and I just kind of live with it for a day or two and see how I feel. We're not chopping our pillows anymore, apparently. I'm like so tempted to chop, but into like a deep chopping phase and i do agree that they look a little better and like lived in when they're not like you know hardcore karate chopped i should probably stop playing around with it but i could also do just like two pillows on one side and like a throw blanket right there gonna live with it for a couple days like i said and then see if i want to return them or look harder for pillows but i think these are pretty good neutral pillows that i could use in a lot of other places so i did try to do four of them stacked like behind this lumbar pillow but it, the color of this little lumbar pillow didn't do well with them but this is a prime example of why if you see multiple pillows at home goods and you're debating how many you need just buy every single one that they have because when i bought these i bought two instead of three and i need the third and every single time i go there i look for the third of this pillow and they never have it so that was why i just freaked out and bought all four if you're curious for a little backstory there just been working from the couch for the rest of the afternoon it's like 5 30 now I'm not quite ready to eat dinner. It's just leftovers from last night, so I don't have to do any cooking, thankfully. But I did just cut up an apple. It's like a little afternoon snack. Time to heat up some dinner. I made this like chicken hibachi with mustard sauce last night. So thankfully, it's just a matter of heating everything up. This recipe is seriously better than takeout. I'm gonna link it even though I didn't even technically cook it in this video, but go figure it's another defined dish recipe. I just made a gourmet salad for Polly so she can be eating her dinner too. I did not realize tonight was gonna be such a late night, but it is 11.15 and I'm gonna force myself to stop working. I'm working on a couple of, I mean, they're not even like secret projects. It's 
me trying to pitch myself for these secret projects that you always hear people talk about but that just involves going back through all of my posts for literally the past year i just scrolled through all of my tiktok posts and jotted down like all of the analytics side of things if you're curious like what i'm actually working on when i'm just like tapping away at my computer i'll give you a little background i was just looking through all those statistics added everything up to kind of like prove my relevance and like certain verticals and stuff when i get pitched to brands so if you're curious over the last 12 months my cleaning content has amassed over 37 million views on tiktok which is kind of crazy so this isn't even necessarily cleaning related i mean it's related it's not like a cleaning product that i have my sights set on right now but it's just really cool to like look back because obviously you have like a viral video every now and again but it's crazy to see like how all of the smaller videos or videos that might not have been like as successful it's crazy to see like the larger picture of the impact that all your content has had so i wish there was like an easier way to pull numbers like this the longer that i'm in this industry the more apparent it is that there's such a gap in terms of like technology and development for tools and software in this space so if you're really good at coding and you want a little side hustle venture reach out to any sort of content creator in your life and i bet you they can tell you some little data points that they wish they could easily pull so they didn't have to add it all up themselves but anyways that's what i've been doing for the past couple hours is going through my tiktok and adding up all these numbers and putting them into a very very beautifully formatted document that i can't show you maybe one day you'll be the first to know I have not been sleeping well lately. I don't know what it is. And I know you're probably thinking, Clara, you consume a copious amount of caffeine each day. I do, but I kind of cut myself off at like 1 p.m. lately, at least over the past couple of days because my caffeine cutoff used to be 3 p.m., but I think that's like too late. That or something else is going on. I also think I'm becoming desensitized to my hatch alarm clock, which might just be because I'm not sleeping as well during the night. So I'm snoozing it when I wake up just because my body like wants to stay asleep because I haven't been sleeping well. That's just what I'm dealing with lately. Hopefully like working out and stuff and getting into more of a, like a consistent workout routine again will help with that because you know getting out some energy earlier in the day might make me sleep better. But all that to say is I'm going to try the Lemme Sleep gummies tonight. I usually don't like taking melatonin or any sort of sleep aid, but we're just going to go for it because I really did not sleep well last night. The only Lemmy products that I've tried are Lemmy Focus, Lemmy PMS, which I'm not actually sure if this did anything. I just took it throughout my last cycle. I guess I could ask the people around me if they thought I was PMSing as much. And then I've also tried the Lemmy Bloat. The Lemmy Bloat gummies, I didn't really notice like the biggest difference with if you want something for bloating especially around like that time of the month this is what i like to take for bloating it's the love wellness bye bye bloat so i would say this wins over the lemmy bloat if you can kind of see them poking out they did send me a couple other ones to try they did send me the lemmy glow which is for hair growth but i can't use that because it's not smart to use hair growth like oral supplements if you're doing laser hair removal and i'm doing laser hair removal so why would i pay all that money for laser hair removal and then let like a 25 dollar vitamin undo it all you know they've sent me a lot they sent me these ones the only one they didn't send me that i purchased myself for reference is the let me focus because these things are like actual crack figured i would take the vlog into the next day even though this was supposed to be a day in my life just so i could tell you that i did indeed sleep well with those gummies so I don't know if that's a reflection of the gummies or maybe it's just like I would have slept well anyways. Only time will tell. I'll have to try them a couple more times. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and go follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to see more of like my short form content. But I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you in the next video.